a fallout shelter in Hollywood. It's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. Holy bucket. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5-800-TOM. 1-800-5-800-866. It's like as 101, the ongoing on-air adult education course that teaches men how to get more tail for less money. And just as importantly, we teach women how men think at 1-800-5-800-TOM. 1-800-5-800-866. Scott on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. What up, Tom? Not much. How you doing today? And yes, I do care. Doing great. Yeah, uh, I moved down here about a year ago from uh, Morro Bay up north. I'm, I've heard you talk about it before. Been there many and, times, uh, yes. Yeah, and um, I've done everything you said. I dumped my girlfriend a few weeks before, um, right, actually right after Halloween. Was your girlfriend yeah. in Morro Bay or in L.A.? And Morro Bay, yeah. All right. Well, you so you left Morro Bay. You had to dump your girlfriend anyway. Correct. Okay. And then, so I'm a lot happier, you know, a lot more free. I can do whatever the heck I want. I got my money situation better, but uh, there's one thing, Tom. What is it? I'm not getting ass in like a toilet seat. What's well, you're new in town. Uh, tell me about your uh, living conditions. Do you have a car? Do you have an apartment? Uh, do you have a uh, job? Yeah, I just bought a brand new F-150. It's a 07. I got my own apartment out in uh, Chino Hills. All right, F, an F-150 it might be a chick car in Morro Bay yeah, or Texas, yeah, but not L.A. All uh, right, what do you think? It's not a chick vehicle. Okay. All right, and and, and uh, by the way, I'm not saying you should get a, a chick vehicle. I'm saying you should get one that chicks think is hot. I got you. I but got you me. need something that looks, in, in Southern California, you need something that looks sporty, something that would mm-hmm. look good out at the beach. Okay. You know? Mm-hmm. So the F-150, I think I would rethink that. By the way, it's one of the great trucks of our time. Yeah. Great vehicle. Yeah. But it's not going to help you attract chicks, in my opinion. Okay. And then the thing is, I heard you talking about cooters. By the way, you don't haul a lot of lumber around or anything, do you? No, I'm a union carpenter. I want to say what's up to all the union carpenters. On oh, the okay. Right so now. you do haul, you do haul uh, tools around? And... Yeah, I got my own tools. All right. Good, good, good. All right. So you need that for work. Yeah. Okay. It's a truck. You know, you're living in Geno Hills, and yeah. uh, where do you go out to socialize? Well, that's the thing, Tom. I work six days, five days of work, or five days a week, long hours. I mean, my social life went to crap. Right, but that's not because you followed Like Us 101. That's because you left Morro Bay. Correct. And a place where you were familiar and you had uh, a regular... Uh, uh, bullpen. Hu- yeah, yeah, well, you had a regular bullpen. You had a human toilet there whenever you needed one. Heck yeah. And now you come here and you now... You now it's like having an expansion team in uh, one of the uh, major sports leagues. Now you've got to uh, have a little expansion draft. You've got to draft uh, some uh, pitching prospects. Okay, and um, there's one other twist, too. I mean, I'm 19, but I look like I'm 16, Tom. Some women like that. One of the things I recommend to guys like you, Scott, yep. date older women. Okay, and that's what I said. Make me into a cougar hunter. How do I? Where do I? Right. Meet these well, women? you want what you want to do is you want to go to the places where cougars hang out. Where do cougars hang out? Well, you, you talk about bars, and bars. I can't really get into bars. I'm only nineteen. Right, but you can go to restaurants that contain the kind of bars that a cougar might go to. Okay. Let me give you an example. Ever been to a macaroni grill? Yeah. <laughs> okay. They've they've got booze there. Okay. But it's a restaurant. I got you. So you could get in. And you suggest me going by myself or Yes I do. Oh no, no, no. I didn't do not suggest a wingman. I suggest that you do it by yourself. Okay. You go in there, play up the fact that you look sixteen. Okay. I mean don't don't try to hide it. I don't. I can't. Because these women in their thirties, they you know, they're they're divorced and they get a chip on their shoulder. 
They'd all love to stick it to their ex-husbands by being with some young guy. Yeah. There's a lot of that attitude. You have to feed on that. Okay. All right. And then, so you want to go to places where the cougars hang out, bowling alleys, cougars hang out at, uh, uh, you know, a lot of the chain restaurants. Yeah. Because remember, women are the cheapest creatures on earth. <laughs> So when you see a woman at an expensive restaurant like anything Wolfgang Puck owns or something like that, they're yeah. always with a guy who's paying. Women are not paying. Okay. So, so that's a bad that's I'll... a bad place to look for women. A good place to look for women is TGI Fridays. Okay. Because that's about as much money as a woman's going to spend when she goes out. She gets some potato skins and a Long Island iced tea. Nice. So if you, I'm sure out in the Chino Hills area that you have these kinds of chains. Yeah, I do. Bennigan's, so, um, Hooligans. I mean, you know what I'm talking about. El Torito. El Torito. Yeah, there you go. You like Latin chicks? Oh, my goodness. El Torito. All right. So what do you think? One more one more quick thing, because I work in Beverly Hills. So is Beverly Hills out of the question for me? or? Well, there's, pl there's plenty of cougars in Beverly Hills. There's no doubt about that. But money's an issue. No, no, but it's it's really not an issue, because most of these women have their ex-husband's money. Oh, okay. And so if you're playing it uh, like you want to be with the older women, yeah, they don't care how much money you have. They're like guys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But seriously, you're probably going to go. have to go as high as 40, but so what? I'm down. Of course you are. <laughs> Beverly Hills has plenty of little places uh, uh, that are restaurant-like. Uh, Maple Drive is the one that Cougars uh, seem to love when I've been in there. Mm -hmm. uh, there are other ones. Prego is an Italian restaurant in the center of Beverly Hills. Yeah, because that's where I'm at. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mr. Chow. <laughs> and I remember you got to go in there because I'm, I'm sure uh, with uh, your occupation, you probably don't have a fortune to spend. You, know, you want to learn how to go to Mr. Chow and order, uh, you know, a plate of egg rolls, something cheap. Yeah. Sit down, order the cheapest thing on the menu, and uh, spend a little time. Okay. But uh, you definitely want the cougars. You definitely uh, want the milfs. You definitely want to go older. 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 Got it. Because women your age all love to say, "Yeah, you're just you're 19. You're, you're what do you do? You're in construction." <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, you know how many women 40 years old would love to be with a 19 year old construction worker? Well, I'm waiting, Tom. I can't wait. Well, it's got, but you got to go where they are. All right. And Beverly Hills is full of aging fossils who <laughs> would just love to hop on for a ride. I know. I mean, actually, you're, you you probably have more luck in Beverly Hills than in Chino Hills. You think so? I do, simply because of the volume of cougars you're going to see there. I see them because I've been working there for a year, but it's like I said, money seems like an issue. Everyone seems real snobby there. Maybe it's just because where I come from. No, you see, that's your own self-esteem talking there, okay? Yeah. Just remember, there are women who live in expensive houses who are willing to do the pool boy, the pizza guy. <laughs> uh, you know what I'm talking about. They yeah, go to club yeah, yeah. men, they do the scuba instructor. I mean, they, they're not worried about how much money those guys make. They know those guys don't make any money. Gotcha. We have heard from guys who actually are like gigolos. They like, you know, move in with these chicks, they pay for their educations, buy them cars. Yeah. Believe me, you can play this. That's what that's what we call it. Uh, call it going bingo. You might find a girl on the street. You might bingo. She might take care of you for the rest of your life. It, it could happen. Yeah. But Beverly Hills is a good place to start. All right. Well, cool, Tom. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm here to help, Scott. Thank you. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Tom here in the classroom of Lycus 101. Hello, Tom. Hello, Dad. Hello, son. Hey, Tom, I just wanted to say that I'm appreciative of everything that you preach. You know, I've been listening to you for a long time. Right. Uh, about two years ago, you know, I was stupid and and broke all the rules, fell in love. And, you know, a year later, we moved in. And I even got a credit card. I saw both of our names on oh, it. Oh, boy. She thought that was really romantic, too. Oh, yeah. she She really did. And uh, I just, I should have stuck to 101. Um, you, you thought know, you knew better than the professor, didn't you? Yes, I did. And, of course, I do not. Um, she, you know, she ended up lying to me. 
basically the bitch cheated on me. There we go. Um, so now, you know, two years later. How did you find out, by the way? Actually, I found out on uh, good old MySpace. <laughs> You mean she was bragging about it on MySpace? Um, yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Brilliant. Um, so, you know, we, we were just in an apartment, so, you know, I basically it wasn't a house. So I'm like, you know, I'm out. I'm done. I got all my stuff out of there as quick as I could. I'm back to being single, back on the playing field, and back to one-on-one rules, and I owe it all to you. Now you need to stay on the program. Oh, it's 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 gonna be a long. You know, I, I'm thinking like 35, way down there. No time soon. I'm gonna go back to school because you know what? I got comfortable in the working life and and living with someone, and pretty much gave up on my dreams. So now, I'm just gonna go back to school, do my thing, and stay single as long as I can. You can stay single your whole life, Tom. Um, if if that, you know what, if. That's what happens. I have no problem with that. Sounds good to me. Tom. 1-800-5800-TOM. 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 After listening to you, Tom, you set me straight. And you know what? I, I attribute my last two sexual encounters to you, man. I love you. It's Like is 101 on the Tom Likey Show. It's the Tom Likey Show. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. We appreciate it. Here we are together again on the radio. It's Like Us 101, the ongoing on-air adult education course that teaches men how to get more tail for less money. Just as importantly, we teach women how men think. Just call us here at one 800 800 tom Let's say hello here to Amy on the Tom Likas Show. Hi, Tom. Hi, Amy. How you doing? Doing great. Well, I'm really excited to talk to a professional finally. Why, thank you. <laughs> so here's my dilemma. You ready for it? I am. Okay, I'm 19. I have a two-and-a-half-year-old son, and I'm not unattractive, Tom. I'm really not. Um, I got a great job. I have a nice apartment in Santa Monica. Why doesn't anyone want to date me? Why? Because you got a kid. But, Tom, come on. Every, I mean, people have kids. It's part of life. You know what I mean? Like, Yeah, but it's an inconvenience. But dating you is an inconvenience. Also, we you know what will happen if you get knocked up. Oh, well, that won't happen, Tom. <laughs> That's what you said the first time. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I can't deny that one. Right. Well, you know, it's like his dad, he's part of his life as well. And, you know, I have free time. And, you know, of course my son's a priority, but it doesn't affect my relationships, you know. Of course I mean, it I does. It in your it opinion. It, it does, in your but... opinion. <laughs> but the, yeah. the opinion of the other person, it does. How about when somebody calls you and says, hey, let's go away for the weekend. Can you do Can that? I say, let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, this weekend. Let's do it. He's at his dad's this weekend. I'm ready. What are we doing? How about next week? Right, how about next weekend? I got a babysitter. You do already? Oh. Yeah, I mean, that's that's not the issue. All right, how about like... I want to get laid tonight? I'm coming over. <laughs> I want to get laid, too. That's great. There we go. <laughs> um, but, Tom, it's like all my friends. You know, I got a lot of friends my age who have kids, too. Well, they, they all made the like same they... mistake you did. Pardon me? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm not the only dumb teenager, believe me. So it's like. Why did you. May I ask why you did that, by the way? Honestly, Tom, it was a really bad time for me, and uh, I wasn't really right in the head, you know? So things kind of happen, but, you know, you got to take responsibility. Well, no, you made them happen. You, You made them happen. I physically did. Yeah, I did. I mean, you went ahead and had sex without the proper birth control? Yes. That is true. So it looks to me like you wanted to drive yourself into a brick wall. Well, you know, Tom, the thing is, is like, I love being a parent. I'm young and everything. Your mouth, we're on the air, dear. I'm very sorry, Tom. I, you know, 
know, I really have my game together. It's not like it's an inconvenience for me. I'm not pulling my hair out. I'm not stressed out. You know, it's like, in my opinion, I'm just as much as a 25-year-old single mom. You know what I'm saying? I know what you I know what you believe, but I also know that uh, by the way, the reason I I'm so down on guys dating single moms is because I've done it. And oh, I well, know you had a bad experience with that. Well, I think every guy has a bad experience with it because you know what? We want to get laid when we want to get laid. We want to we want attention when we want attention. Yeah, and so I do understand that. I've had a few failed relationships, you know, and it's not you know, it's I was in a relationship with a year with this guy, and it just, you know, it went bad because he said, you know, I don't feel like I'm the priority, and he's right, you know. Well, you see how, but you see, you just said it doesn't affect your relationships at all, and now you're telling me you were lying to me. Well, naturally, Tom, okay, if my son's sick, I got to take care of him before I take care of my man. But but we know, we're, we're not arguing with that. But you see, what, that's not, if I'm dating you, that's not my problem. Hate like, to say also, it. It's not my problem. I mean, this guy lived with me. We were like full on committed. I'm, I'm not. I don't want somebody to. I don't want to get married. I don't want someone to move in with me. I just want to go. Well, why'd you let a guy move? In? First, you get pregnant by one guy. Then you move in with another guy. Something else you claim you don't want to do. Sounds like you do lots of things you don't want to do. Yeah, I don't anymore. You know, I tried it and it was really lame. And I don't want that anymore. I just want to go on. I just want to go on dates like everyone else you know i don't well, want... i think i think your only hope is a booty call somebody who like <laughs> if you call and if i'm free uh i might come over yeah. and then i have to hope like that the life. condom doesn't break because you're gonna have the next one too <laughs> you just said you love being a parent and that means if the condom leaks you're having that baby oh that's that doesn't sound good to me tom it's true though isn't it that there. but it's true isn't it it is true. Yeah, I know. And that's why I would not date you. Okay, but you told the other 19-year-old, hey, you know, these people just divorced. These chicks just divorced their husbands. I'm sure they got kids, but he's going out looking for them, you know? You think that's just for a booty call? Uh, I happen to believe that once you're in your 40s and you're a female, uh, you're not looking to meet 19-year-olds in order to get pregnant. Yeah, well, that's true. <laughs> you're looking to get laid So do you have any helpful advice for me, Tom? What can I do, dude? Well, look, I mean, the way you do it is got to find, of course, he probably won't be as uh, appealing to you or as hot to you, but you got to find one of those nice guys, one of those pathetic individuals who is Uh, terminally nice all the time, and he'll tolerate any any of your crap if you if you don't have time for him or you you got kid issues or uh, you're busy or whatever he'll he'll say oh that's okay I understand you you need to find a guy like that <laughs> no that's horrible you know where's the fun in that and then that guy also well if you got pregnant he go well I'll do the right thing you know I'll be responsible I mean, that that's what you want. Because the kind of bad boy that you would find attractive and interesting, he doesn't want to pay for somebody's baby. He (laughs) he doesn't want to do it. Oh, I don't even want to pay for my own baby, Tom. I'm not hating on you, dude. I understand. I'm just telling you the truth. (laughs) The guy want to run the risk that he's going to be the next sucker in the barrel paying for your kids. And that's how they look at it, huh? Yes. how guys look at me. Of course. You are a potential liability. Yeah, I'm looking for a perspective here. That's good. That's what I need. Yeah, I mean, you're saying you're not getting laid. I'm telling you guys, think about stuff like this. Now, I've got somebody on the line right now who has an opinion about this. Jason, tell Amy why she can't get a date. Amy, let me tell you why you can't get a date, because there are millions of other 19-year-old girls out there that didn't get pregnant when they were, what, 17? Would you get pregnant when you were 16 or 17? You have a two and a half year old? Pregnant. Yeah. Yeah, that's scary. That says a lot about you. A, it says you are your you make bad decisions, and when you make a bad decision and you get pregnant, you choose to remain in a, in, a, in a bad circumstance and have the child. Now you expect that all the single guys out there that actually have something to offer, uh, that they owe you something, that we're supposed to, oh, no, no, we're no. Supposed I don't to feel privileged to, to go no, out no, with no, you? No, no. Talk <laughs> mode. Be in listening mode. Be in listening mode for a second. Um, why, why would we? Ask yourself this. Why would anybody want to date you? You're damaged goods. You made a bad decision, and you chose to and you chose to keep the kid. 
and now you've got to live with it. And furthermore, when Tom said, uh, you know, what do you do if somebody wants to go out with you? Cool, the kid's with the, with the dad on the weekend. What about next weekend? Cool, get a babysitter. Is that really what you do to your child? You slough your child off on, the, on its father or on a babysitter so you can go gallivanting around with some, you know, sleeping around with some dude? And, well, the, answer, the answer is yes. By the way, uh, she disappeared. Yeah. She yeah. during this I, uh, this conversation. Well, you know, be careful what you wish for. When you say Tom, be careful what you wish. Oh, for. yes. Apparently she wished for a kid. She had she she had the kid and now she called in for some advice and and a perspective. She got a couple of perspectives and now she hung up. So I I just I don't know, man. I do not know. It's a scary world when you got 17-year-old girls going out there getting knocked up, keeping the baby, and then demanding that guys date them. What the hell is going on? I think you're right about that, Jason. Thank you for that. It's Like Us 101. I am your professor. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Lauren on the Tom Like Us show. Hello. Hi. I had to call because I heard you giving a young man some advice on where to find older women, and I was appalled at where you told him to go. You, Why? I, <laughs> well, I honestly don't know, at least within the, the people that I know, any woman, any self-respecting woman who would go to the macaroni grill or one of these cheap restaurants if all they're looking to do is get laid. I mean, it, if, if he really wants to find a mature woman who is only looking for sex, go to some of the nicer hotel bars. Because quite, I mean, honestly, I have no intention of ever being in a relationship. And if I'm going out and I'm looking to get laid, when we're done, get the hell out. What's the youngest you've gone, Lauren? <laughs> the um, well, as far as age difference, eighteen. Eighteen. However, I will say this: he told he, you he was eighteen, and you believed him. They don't, you know what? But no, I, I, I the reason I believe him, he didn't know what he was doing. And that's how I know that he probably was very close to that age. He could have been he could have been twenty, he could have been sixteen, it doesn't matter. He didn't know what he was doing. So now I'm not the kind of person that's gonna go out and pick up somebody that's nineteen or twenty. Um, mainly because I wanna I wanna enjoy myself. So how long how young will you go? Um probably thirty. Because they've had enough experience. They've 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 learned a few things. I don't wanna have to teach you. There you go. But there are women who will go even younger. They may make the same mistake you made. Pick a guy who's 18, find out he can't uh, do uh, what you need him to do. Uh, but uh, they haven't discovered that yet. Oh, no. And, and many times, I mean, I've never been married, nor will I be. But for a lot of them, it's to get back at their husband because they, you know, went off and, and started banging some little 20-something. And so they're, they want to go out and prove that they can do it, too. It means nothing. Uh, so there's plenty of women, but you got you got to go to the hotel bars. That's the best. Well, that's place a, that's them. also a good place. I will agree with you, but don't knock Macaroni Grill. There are plenty of forty something women hanging out at the Macaroni Grill or the El Torito. <laughs> okay, well you stick with that then. We don't care if they're self respecting. We're hoping they're not. <laughs> but we're so much more fun when we have self respect. <laughs> that's that's what women like to think, and uh, uh, okay, <laughs> men don't like to believe that, and and we don't believe that. Okay, thank you, dear. Thanks. Appreciate the call. She's not going down to eighteen anymore. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. It's like us one oh one. I am your professor. Let us continue our conversation here with, um, let's get Nicole on the air. Nicole, you're on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of wondering why it, it's okay for guys to go sleep around and get girls knocked up, and then they actually, you know, take the responsibility, have the, have the child, and you're knocking her because she wants to date. We're not knocking her. She totally, uh, as far as I'm concerned, if she wants to date, that's fine. But uh, most guys don't want a girl like that. But she, she, she wants to date. Well, I couldn't care less. That's fine with me. I understand that. But do you think that she went out whenever she was 17 years old and that was her goal to say, oh, I'm going to go get pregnant tonight? You know what? It happened. Uh, no, she made it happen. She did by herself? 
Uh, well, That's yes. Be- you know why? Number one, uh, because uh, she didn't use birth control. Number two, after she got knocked up, she had the opportunity, uh, first of all, to use a morning after pill, which she didn't. Are you 486? She didn't. Abortion. She didn't. And uh, now she's got a child. And the next man who sleeps with her runs the risk that the same thing will happen again. Okay. Well, you know what? Kids are, uh, you know what? That, that is not a mistake, to be quite frank with you. Oh, so you're, she, so you're agreeing with me that she did this intentionally? No, I didn't say that she did it intentionally. You said it's not a mistake? Well, whether it's a mistake or not. Is it a mistake I mean, or not? It. Is it a mistake or not? I don't know. It's not. It's not uh, all of her mistake. Uh, yeah, that? actually, it is because a woman decides whether or not a baby is going to be born, not a man. <laughs> how, how is it not a man? A man has has no say in that decision. Oh, he doesn't. Whenever he lays down with somebody. It, he doesn't have any. No, no, no. The either. point is, the woman laid down with somebody too. But after somebody gets pregnant, the woman has the sole decision, and the man has no say in it. Oh, the man has no say in it, but he had some say in it whenever he he decided to lay down. Oh, with so did she? Yeah. So she wanted to have a baby. So, in other words, you're what? saying you're she takes responsibility she, for it. The well, woman does fantastic. All the time. But all I time. I don't want to date a woman with a child. Well, too much inconvenience for me. Yeah, I understand that. But you know what? Don't uh, I am not. Honestly, I'm not a um, a single parent. Um, just one second. Um, I am not a single parent. Okay? You said that three times now. Well, I'm sorry. My husband wants to talk to you also. But I mean, I'll tell him to buy a telephone. Huh? Oh, your husband can call it himself. We yeah. one 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 to a customer here. Yeah, I understand. But, I mean, like you said, you can't knock single parents. You know what? Yes, they, I can. Working, I do it all the time. They're working hind ends off to I, uh, support I, kids. And you what? know what? I thought you, you said you're not a single parent. I am, I'm not. No, I'm not. Mm. I am not. It's just I can't believe that you can sit here and yes, I can. people like people. Like I can, do. and I do. Don't you dare put your husband on the phone. No. 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 See, she ran out of gas. Then she puts the husband on the phone to take over the call. Not happening. Buy a telephone, buddy. Call in yourself. Work your way through the screener like everybody else. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. No, it's Tom. Man, you like the dopest cat on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> you, you get a hood pass from me, so anybody will come to the hood. I got your back. Huh? I love that. <laughs> it's the Tom Likas Show. The Tom Likas Show. It's Likas 101. I am your professor coming to you from beautiful Hollywood, California. At 1-800-5800-TOM. I am your professor. This is Nikki. Hello. Hello? Is that a question or a statement? Oh, I'm on. Okay. I just thought you made a very inappropriate, juvenile, and unintelligent statement a minute ago. What would that be? Well, the lady that called said that um, self-respecting women are so much fun, and you said, I'm sorry, but men don't think that way. That's correct. Um, you don't think that way. Most but men you don't have think no that right way. to make a gross general. Yeah, actually, I do. Men. I do because I'm broadcasting to no, a broad audience do, of broads you say like you. That, but if you have the intelligence I thought you had, oh, you would realize. Yes, yes. now you're going to you show me how much more intelligent. I didn't say I and am, but I, I, I know. Like I know many men, men and I know many men who feel that way, and no, I, okay, I would. Now that's different. And, there are many men that feel that way. I would way. say the most men, men feel, feel that, that way. way. My opinion is that most men feel that way. No. If you want to say most I, men, I agree with you. Maybe. That's I don't fine. Know. I'm not a man. But it is a generalization. And, and I assume that you are intelligent enough to know that every generalization has exceptions to the rule that we say on this program all the time, even a broken clock is right twice a day. So what if there's a few men out there who like self-respecting women? They're in the minority. Who cares? Okay. First of all, you don't know that, but second of Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, secondly, if I got an 18-year-old to 24-year-old guy hitting on me in a macaroni grill, 
I'm going to spit wash his face and go tell him to find his mom. Well, that's great. And uh, hopefully okay. he'll call a so policeman. Hopefully you. he'll call Naturally, a policeman and have you arrested you for like battery. You yourself talk and you don't like it. I, I, I definitely hear, I hate hearing a bitch like you going on and on like this. Yeah, There's I no doubt about that. Intimidated by me I'm not the I least bit intimidated by you, sweetheart. Trust me. And they, I'm not hearing a whole lot of intelligence coming out of your end of the phone. Absolutely. Everything I've said. You see, here's uh, your opinion. Your opinion is your opinion. Okay. And that's I'm the it. professor. You want to say I am the professor of poon. I run this classroom. I run and this I'm classroom with an iron fist. I am in charge here, lady. That. You don't call in here and tell me. I'm in charge of this classroom. Well, I got news for you, man. You're a public servant. That's right. You work for a radio station. No, I'm not. No, no, I know. I work for a private company that licenses a radio frequency. I don't work for you. No, you don't. But you I am not a public servant. Public and, and I know I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. Right no, I don't. I am me. not a public servant, and I'm not here to serve you either. I don't want you to serve me. Oh, I'm not a public servant. I work for a private corporation. Right, but you're on the public airwaves, and you have the public calling. Uh, that doesn't matter. I, I do not uh, serve you or the public, and I have no responsibility to the public at all. And I don't have any responsibility to you. Give but a rat's ass. Right you're not now. in our target Maybe demo. You're an old bag. You know what? You're not in the target demographic of the show. We really don't care. The fact that it makes you angry proves I'm to us, proves to you're not in our target demographic. demographic. I, this program is aimed at men, not old bags, okay? The yeah. bottom line here is this, lady. Is, as a dried up like old prune you, that you are, I'm telling you that the guys listening to this program, they know that when you object to the show the way you do that I'm doing it right. The fact that you hate it this much means we are hitting our target I, demographic. I don't hate anything this much. You're the one with all the aggression and anger. Here. I'm not aggressive not at me. all, and I'm not the least bit angry because you're making me rich every minute you're on the air. No, I'm making your public company rich. Oh, and you're making me rich as well because the higher the ratings go, the richer I get. No, so you get paid more. Yes. I'm not doing anything for you. Oh, yes, you the are. The bottom line yes, is... Yes, you are. You're grist you know, for my even mill. Even if I am, I don't really You're care. making me rich. The bottom line is the truth needs to be told, and that is that all men don't... Feel well, what makes that anybody think that you would know the truth if you fell over it? You. What would make anybody and think you know the truth? Bag. Although, you are a dried up like old hag. Most of the eggs have dropped already. You're heading off grill. to the uh, sunset. Yeah, the macaroni grill, El Torito. These are great right, places right. to be dried up old hags like yourself who are desperate and, and, and to get laid. You know what? Dried right. up old hags like myself, okay? Yeah. Wouldn't have anything to do with anyone like you. Uh, guess what? There's an awful lot who would. Well, I'm sure there are. And, and I wouldn't have anything to do with them. Children. All kinds of things that have to Because I can, I can afford your daughter. I don't need you. Mm -hmm. I don't have it. Watch your mouth. You're on the air. <laughs> you can afford anything. <laughs> I got news for you, man. Money don't buy dignity. And money not... don't buy self-respect. <laughs> well, it don't buy but grammar don't buy either, Grandma. Animals, I understand that. This money old money hag don't buy education get, either. This old hag could buy you. Really? You don't know anything about me. Oh, yeah. You I know. don't know how much money I have. I know you don't have as much as I do. You. I know you don't have as much as I do, because if you did, you wouldn't have time to call in, hold really? on, you know and then sit here and have this conversation with me. Hours? You would... Oh, no, you didn't know that. What? See, people like you make statements, yeah. but you really don't know any facts. Yeah, all right, go ahead. Tell us, how much money do you have? I have... A lot of money. How much? More money. How much? More money than how much? You have. How much do you have? Well, let's put it this way. No, put it in How numbers. That, put it that way. No, no, I, no, no. I'm the host of the show, and I ask you. You're the one who called up here. You're anonymous, I, so like, you can tell us here, how I much do you have. And the answer is you don't have two nickels to rub together. You don't have two nickels to rub together. You don't have two nickels to rub together. I couldn't buy you. You couldn't buy me. And by the way, you'd have to ask your ex-husband to help pay for it because you don't have anything yourself. I got news for you. I have news for you. My ex-husband is wanting my money. Oh, really? Yeah. Anyway, so what kind of loser is he? Uh, uh, yeah, he is. The, ki the kind you're attracted to. <laughs> What's that? You and I agree on that one. Well, well, uh, well there we go. <laughs> that's the kind of man you like. Losers. Uh, no, that's not the kind of man. Oh, well, you married. You married. That's the kind of man you marry. Losers.
No, see, the problem is, is this. How Here's much do you have, about life, Okay. How much do you have? Me, but that's How right. much do you have? The truth of the How much is, do you right? have? Nobody knows. You're going to answer this question, and then you can go on to your next uh, burst of hot air. How much money do you have? Now it's time to put up or shut up. Um, how much money do I have? How much? $25 million. You don't have $25 million you know that? on a bet. Where did you get $25 million? Well, let's just say I'm a hard worker and I got good connections. Let's just I'm say you're full of crap. Let's just say there's no <laughs> way you've got $25 million. It doesn't matter. It, I you do. don't have $25,000. You don't have $25,000. Okay? The bottom line is your advice. Keep it to something that actually people can use. Okay? Oh, I do. That's why. Having, I, that's having, why. Having that is 40- why. That is why I have the number one show among men in the afternoon in Los Angeles. It is because I give them the exact advice they need, they no more, no less. And they love the to hear you old hags like you. Idea. They love to hear old hags like you getting all the panties in a wad there because oh. uh, of all the things I say. They love it, and that's why they stay tuned. And that's why I'm rich. Oh. So, in other words, you're on the radio, and people stay tuned because you're on the radio, but it's all about you and old Yes, guys. it's the Tom Likas show. They People <laughs> tune in to hear Tom Likas. That's what they tune in to hear. That's right. And they tune in to hear Tom Likas mixing it up with old bags like yourself. Yes. I'm old bags like myself. Yeah, it's interesting because what do you consider yourself? I'm just curious. Rich, successful. I can an get an old hag. I consider you an old hag. Yeah, you can go ahead. Guess what, dear? Exactly. It doesn't matter what so you consider. Old hags like because I, get radio I, shows where you I can would, I, I wouldn't be seen. I you. wouldn't be seen with somebody your oh, age in a million, in billion years. Forget it. I believe me. I'm, I am seen with much younger, hotter chicks than you. Oh, really? That's I, correct. How hot do you think I am? Not very. Oh, I see. So you don't know. You have no idea what I look well, like. Well, I'm a darling. And you, you, I, you here's no what I do know. Anything. Here's what I know. You've already passed your expiration date, so you can't be in 10. We know that. Uh, I passed my expiration date? What, oh, yes. what, what is the expiration date? Can what, you tell me? Your 30th birthday. The 40th birthday 30th, expiration 30th, date. 30th birthday. Oh, man. 30th. You told that to Demi Moore? Yeah, actually, uh, there's not a lot of guys here. Maybe you told that to Cindy Crawford. Not a lot of guys here want Cindy Crawford. I'll tell you what. Oh, really? Have you told that to half of the people, half of the women that are the hottest women in America? Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. You didn't hear the show I did about that very topic the other day about the women that 40 and 50 something women think are are the hottest, most beautiful women. And and they're none of the same uh, women that men find hot. Okay, None first of them. Of all, again, None you of them. Find when are you going to say? Men. When are you going to say Meg? Ro- when are you going to say Meg Ryan? When are you going to say Meg Ryan or Sarah Jessica Parker? I'm waiting for those names to come up. Go ahead. Tell us how hot they are. Kim well, Cattrall. You think they're hot? You're Kim the one that no, I, I don't. But uh, women okay. always mention those names. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. They who are all these them. hot older women? Who are they? I just mentioned a couple. And, and I'm telling you that guys don't think they're hot. Well, I got news for you, guys. The kind of guys you date think they're hot, but they're 60 years old. Oh, is that it? That's right. Well, well, the thing about it is this. If you're going to sit there and you're going to make the target audience for... Do you know about target audiences? How, what, do you, what, do you know, what do you know about my business? Don't start to, you don't know anything about Send my business. You don't, know, you don't know anything about my business. You, don't you start talking about target demographics. You don't know anything about the radio business. You have no business talking about it. Oh no! I don't, I, I'm, I'm talking about conversation. Uh, you're talking about talking. You don't don't, station, don't, you dare, don't, you dare, don't you don't you dare don't you dare don't you dare discuss target demographics. You know nothing about that subject. How do you know? Because I know it for a fact. If you were in the radio business, you wouldn't be how on the air talking to me. Fact? You would not be on the air talking to me. You'd be calling me at the radio station, having a professional conversation one on one. Why not? Why wouldn't I call Because you I've been in this business my whole life, and I know exactly who calls on the air and who yeah, doesn't. But you also think what that station do you own? Like what else? station do you own? What station? I don't own a station. What station do you manage? I don't manage a station. Thank you for calling. And you know I'm not in the business. It shows. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at blowmeuptom.com. The Tom Likas Show.